Hi everyone, my name is Adarsh Mishra and today we are going to solve one more problem on Code Chef. So today's problem is find remainder. So you can see that here its problem code is FLOW002. So you can search this code by clicking in practice and learn and after that search problems by text. So let's see what this question is all about. So in this question it is asking that write a program to find the remainder when an integer a is divided by integer b. So in this scenario we are getting two numbers as an input. The first number is integer a and the second number is integer b. So we have to divide those two numbers. So as you can see the criteria of input is the first line contains the integer t. T means number of test cases and test cases resembles to number of queries like how many values we are getting and for every query we are given two values a and b so the output pattern should be for each test case we have to find the remainder when a is divided by b and we have to display it in a new line okay and here we have some constraint that the number of test cases means number of queries will be between 1 to 1000 and the value of a and b will be between 1 to 10,000 so no problem here so let's check it out uh, our first input number of test cases are 3 means we are going to get 3 queries the first query is 1 and 2 in that case the value of a is 1 and I think the value of b is 2 so whenever we are going to divide 1 by 2 we are getting the remainder as 1 so in that case the answer will be 1 so here you can see the answer is 1 in the second scenario 100 is divisible by 200 so in the same case we are getting 100 as a remainder so we are getting here 100 as remainder in the third scenario 40 is divisible by 15 so whenever we used to divide 40 by 15 15 twos are 30 it means we are getting 10 as a remainder so here the answer is 10 so we are going to solve this problem in ideally so here as you know that we have to uh, first take input of number of test cases so in that sense we are writing here int input and there is no need to write enter the number of test cases because we know the input pattern after that what we have to do we have to write a loop that while our test cases are greater than 0 we have to take two values as an input the two values will be a and b so a comma b is equal to int uh, I'm sorry we have to map that input dot split so what input dot split is doing that we are getting an input and which is separated by space you can see here the input is separated by space so we are going to split that input by that separate by using split function and uh, this split function will help us to split the input and then we will convert that input into a uh, integer value and then we will map that integer value to a and b means we are getting our two values a and b what we have to do we have to print something so not we should not write here and we should ask our check function to calculate or evaluate the value of a and b and then we what we have to do we have to reduce the number of test cases so for that we have to make our check function also so here we are going to define a check function which is going to take two values as an input which are a and b so what we have to do we have to return or we have to print the remainder of those two values whenever a is divided by b so here we are creating a variable remainder is equal to a modulus b so whenever uh, we used to divide we use this operator for dividing but now we are going to calculate remainder so we will use modulus operator because modulus operation gives us remainder so a mod b then what we are going to do we are going to print the value of the remainder so I think the program is done now so let's check whether it is working or not uh, we are going to save it as a name of the remainder and not remainder what is exactly its name a find remainder okay no problem here we are going to write find remainder and then save so it is asking for input so we are going to copy the input from our browser uh, not this input line okay here so for every input we are getting 110 which is the required solution so here we are getting 110 so this is how we can calculate the remainder of the two numbers a and b click on these videos right here and be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go thanks for watching and i'll see you next time